thanks for clicking on the video. My name's Kimberly, and I'm a tutor here on Wiseant. I've got a cool physics problem I want to work through with you, so let's get started by reading the problem statement. A 7,180-kilogram helicopter accelerates upwards at 0.81 meters per second squared while lifting a 1,080-kilogram frame at a construction site. A. What is the lift force exerted on the helicopter rotors by the by the air. B. What is the tension in the cable, ignoring its mass, which connects the frame to the helicopter? And C. What force does the cable exert on the helicopter? <clears throat> okay, so let's get right to work. I'm going to share my screen um, so that we can <clears throat> you can see what I'm drawing. Okay, part A. What we have to do first, as always, is draw a free body diagram. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now there are two bodies in this problem, but for part A, we can we can treat them as one body because you see the, the tension force that connects the frame to the helicopter is the same, you know, equal and opposite. So it's really it's just one body that does the lifting. Um, I do encourage you to try this drawing two different free body diagrams and solving for the lift, but that would take longer, and I'm just gonna do it the fast way but you can try it the long way on your own for practice. So here we go, free body diagram. Um, oh dear, free body diagram. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we have the lift force up. Um, we have the weight of the frame down, which is equal to M frame times G. And we have the weight of the helicopter down as well, which is equal to M helicopter times G. And then there's a, a tension up and a tension down, as I mentioned before, but they cancel each other out because they're equal to each other. So pretty simple free body diagram since it's just a 1D problem. Okay, now let's write down Newton's second law. F equals Ma, we can't forget our sigma. The sum of forces, so the mass times acceleration. Let's give those some vector hats. Um, and now we just write down all the forces. So lift minus the mass of the frame plus the mass of the helicopter times G equals the mass of the frame plus the mass of the helicopter. Oh no. Sorry about this. Times the acceleration. Okay, so what I did here was I I combined the two weight forces into just one expression, it's just the because they just add up, right? Mf plus g plus mh, but, or minus mf plus g minus mhg becomes minus parentheses mf plus mh times g. And then the acceleration on the system is gonna be the full, I mean, the, the inertia for the system is gonna depend on the full system mass mf plus mh times g. So then we just have L equals mf plus M H times A minus G because we would just subtract this term from both sides and it would be L equals A times MF plus MH minus G times MF plus MH. And then we factor out the masses. We have this expression. So then we plug in the numerical values and we type it into a calculator and we get the answer 8.76 times 10 to the fourth newtons. 8.76 E4, and that's measured in newtons. Looks good. So that's a six. I did that on the first try. First try. Okay, now let's consider part B, which is asking us to find the tension in the cable. So here we do have to write a separate um, free body diagram just for the uh, frame, right? The frame has 
the tension force up and weight equals G times the mass of the frame down. Um, and then we go back to Newton's second law, F equals MA, and we write down T minus G M F equals mass times acceleration. This time it's just the mass of the frame because that's all we have in our free diagram, free by a diagram, just the frame. So G M F and we have, oh, sorry, this is not G, this is A, M F times A. And then we just T equals G, nope. No, that was right. That was right. G, uh, sorry, negative G plus A times the mass of the frame. And if we wanted, if we wanted our answer in newtons, we could just plug this into a calculator using 9.8 um, and the given value of acceleration and the given value of the frame mass. And now part C is the easiest one. It says what force does the rope, does the cable exist, exert on the helicopter? Well, we know that the helicopter is not accelerating relative to the frame. So we know that there's not going to be a net force between them, meaning that tension acting from the cable on the frame equals minus tension acting from the cable onto the helicopter. So T we're looking for is just the negative of the T from before because in the opposite direction. A minus G times the mass of the frame. And there you have it. That's our problem. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.